Hey guys, what's up? This is just a quick little video. Um, I don't know why I always say that, but I do. Um, this one is just on the Capsule Rebel. It's a, um, it's a review. I really like this case. It's pretty kick-ass. Um, I know I say that a lot now, but I really like this case. I mean, this is a true, like, Capsule Rebel. It's a solid case. I do have some issues with it, and I will state what those issues are. Um, but basically, a lot of people rip this box when they open it. What you gotta do is you gotta cut this little piece of tape at the top, and this slides right out. Um, I saw Carlos reviewed his, he didn't review it, he unboxed his new Capsule Neo today. Um, he was not impressed. I agree with him. I think it is something with the pigment, and I will talk about that later in this video. Um, so, what you get with this case? You get two, sorry, Switch Easy screen shields. Always good. Better to have nothing than... Ah! <laughs> Better to have something than nothing. A squeegee to put them on. And a little user manual. Switch easy, that's pretty kick ass. Um, what's in here is what's usually in these things with Switch easy. Everything but the kitchen sink. You got this, your dock adapter, you got your movie stand, and you've got your um, dock cover, which is on here right now. Um, what do you call it? So, yeah, let me put this aside. Um, this is a pretty solid case. I really am enjoying this case. I, I've been rocking the hell out of this. I haven't taken this case off. I haven't put another case on. I have a, sorry, I have a couple companies sending me cases in a couple days. And, um, it's going to be sad to take this thing off. To review those couple cases, let's put this right here so you know what I'm reviewing. Like that. Hope you can see that. Um, yeah. So this is the Capsule Rebel itself. You can see I just have a timer going. Already at two minutes and forty-eight seconds. But that's just fine. Um, so this is how you get the case off. You take the dock adapter out. That's just a dock port cover. You put either one of these bottoms off. And then you just work your way up. Now you can see, I have some chrome showing right there. That never stops showing. That's always showing on my phone. No matter how much I work this silicone, I cannot get it to sit quite right for my phone. So that comes off like that. Then your phone is like that. Then you just take that off. There. And now you have the naked iPhone. Basically this is a very hard silicone but it's still silicone. Um. I think that if you get a colored one, I might be getting a yellow and black soon, Capsule Rebel. And um, I think if you get the colored ones, the pigment is different and the silicone is just a little bit harder. And you can see, look. You can see how much that moves. I'll show you later in the video about the sag that some people talk about. Um... I do have some problems with that sag. I'm not going to lie. I have some problems with that sag. And no, guys. Don't don't think about it pervertedly. Just just think about it what I'm saying. Okay? Seriously. Um, but yeah. The sag. Um, so there's the Rebel itself. That just goes on. This is how you put it on. You just put top in first. Then you bring the bottoms around. 
it's hard to do this on camera because I'm reaching through the tripod legs. And if you want to know what tripod I'll have, just PM me. I'll let you know. Um, so, yeah, if I want to, I can lift that up over that chrome. But even when I put the skeleton on, it's not over the chrome. I don't know what is up with that. Um, Carlos had that same issue with his um, with his new Rebel Serpent, I think it's called. With his Rebel Serpent, he had the same problem. He couldn't get the black over that chrome right. So I think it's something to do with the black pigment. Or just the way they cut the black pieces. So what you do is you put that in. And you just put these over. And then your Capsule Rebel is on. It's pretty simple. Some people don't like it. It is a little bit of a chore. Um, you can see bottom open, speakers fully accessible, dock accessible. Accessible, that sounds weird. You put your dock cover in, it's nice. Switch easy logo on the back. I'm good. Um, yeah, it works with screen shields. It has not lifted my screen shield whatsoever. I have the Zag Invisible Shield on there. Um, it will not work with back, because then it will mess up, mess it up, and it won't be able to reach around the chrome right. But I do not have a shield on the back, so that's not my problem. Camera hole cut perfectly. Your button feels like you're touching a naked button completely. Your, these, feels like you're touching naked. Fully accessible. Some people don't like it. Some people are like, ah, I can move my finger in. But I think that I can fit it perfectly. I mean, I do not have small fingers, but I mean, look. I can fit my thumb like that. It's a pretty big hole right there. So, that's basically the Capsule Rebel. There's not much else to it. It's available in, like, tons of colors. Link will be in the sidebar to the Capsule Rebel page on SwitchEasy's website. Um... I highly recommend the Capsule Rebel Skeleton. I highly recommend any Capsule Rebel. Like I said earlier, I'm thinking about getting a some other Capsule Rebels. Oh, one more thing. The SAG. I said I would get to this and a lot of people had trouble with this. You can see that. I barely touched that. So let's say... Hold on. So let's say you're just cleaning your screen. Ah, la, 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 la. You're done cleaning your screen and look. What I found out that works is if you put it like that and then just push it up, eventually it'll settle back down into position. Or you could just go like that and move it up and then it'll lay a little bit better. Um, yeah. I also found that if you keep this dot cover in, a lot of people hate it because it's small and annoying, but it keeps the sag down keeps it from sagging more. So yeah, that's the review of the Capsule Rebel. Um, I will have several other videos coming up. I'm hopefully going to film some tonight. Um, I'm going to film one on the iSkin Revo 2 clip for the iPhone. Works perfect flawlessly with the Rebel. I'm going to do a clip special, one of these videos. I'm going to do one of like what case works with what clip. It's kick-ass. I will have a review coming up on this tonight. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Um, hope you can see that right. Sorry about that. I didn't try to do that. But, um, I also have a review coming up on the red iPod Shuffle. I will be filming that tonight. You guys gotta check out my channel for this. This iPod is one of the best iPods I've owned, surprisingly. It's a $50 iPod. It's actually not mine. It's my dad's. I got it for him, though. I bought this for him for my own money, so it's kind of ours. So he lets me use it sometimes when we go to the gym and stuff. If I don't take my iPod Classic, I might use that. Also, one thing I do tend to do just randomly is I peel these back um, without even thinking about it, so that's probably not good probably does something to it, but review coming up on this tonight. 
Um, yeah, that's basically the end of this review. I've been rambling on and on and on and on and on. So, yeah, peace.